things are happening in the Arctic at a much faster pace than we thought. I read a study recently that says that, that by 2030, that we will have a Arctic free of ice in the summer. Now, that is the most aggressive projection that I've seen, but to be honest, I can't rule it out. And to think that as we stand here, or I stand here today and look into the future and say that within 12 years, we potentially will have no ice in the Arctic in the summer is incomprehensible. And it's incomprehensible mostly from the standpoint that we're not prepared. The challenges that lie in front of us are much greater than the resources which are being applied. Having lost so much sea ice in the Arctic means that we've lost a big fraction of the mirror of the Earth. And so by losing the mirror of the Earth, much more of the sun's energy is being absorbed into the climate system that before would have been reflected back to outer space and never would have entered the climate system at all. That is one of the functions of sea ice. One of the other functions is to isolate the heat in the ocean from the atmosphere. So having lost that ice means that we now have much more heat being released into the atmosphere. And these two functions of sea ice are contributing to the rapid increase in temperature that we've been observing in the Arctic. On one single day last month, the Arctic ice cap melted at three times its normal rate, losing ice the size of England. Can you, can you believe? The Alaskan and Canadian glaciers are retreating. Changing seasons, irregular weather, all this and more is happening and deepening. The polar vortex, which is this upper atmosphere wind that keeps the cold air in the Arctic, the polar vortex has become, on occasion, very severely distorted. There's the polar vortex, severely distorted, and the coldest region on the planet was at that time between Canada and the United States. So what, what is the, the problem there? Well, of course, the problem is that that hot spot in the Arctic Sea region is the cause of the disturbance of the polar vortex, and that hot spot is right next to Greenland. And if the Greenland ice starts to melt irreversibly, and the scientific community now believes it will follow the pathway of the uh, Arctic ice itself, in other words, it'll become irreversible due to a positive feedback effect. The ice, when it melts, creates lakes on the top of the ice. These lakes, when they get darker, deeper, they get darker blue, they absorb more sunlight. So that positive feedback means goodbye to uh, the uh, Greenland ice. And when that goes, of course, globally, the sea, sea level would rise by seven meters. But a global sea level rise of one or two meters is of course already going to be a, a massive challenge. The fate of the Arctic is a tied to the fate of Miami, Mumbai, Shanghai, and the coastal cities across the world, and so much else, of course. When the Arctic suffers, the world feels the pain. The aim of Copernicus is by 2025, we will know everything which is happening in climate change so that we will not able to say to the future generation, sorry, we did not know. We can no longer afford to stick our heads in the sand. It's time for action and we need everybody to be on board. This is not being an alarmist. This is looking the unpleasant truth in the eye. And I would like to make it absolutely clear the scientific knowledge is out there. I don't think there is any need to debate that any longer. We must act. I think everyone need to, every country need to put more budget into the basic research. And the, what happens in the Arctic is no exception. I think we need to really know and we really need to understand. And we really need to lay out a strategy how to prevent the climate change. I want to just emphasize here that the severe risks we're faced with means that unless we club together, imagine if there was a near-Earth object that we, the astronomers had picked up heading towards the planet and we were told it's going to hit the planet in 12 years' time. I believe we would all get behind the effort to blow this thing away from our path.
And that's the sort of situation we're in now.